Hello friends, welcome to the second video about machine learning. In this video, I'll be teaching computer vision using HTML. In this example, I'll be teaching about motion detection. Here you can see a simple example of motion detection. Here we are taking the live video and here we are display, uh, displaying the motion detector output value. See, you can see if I shake my hand, only my hand is displayed and other background is not displayed. So in this, even the threshold value is detected. If I move many things, you can see the threshold value getting higher and higher. So, and in this, uh, I'll be posting this link also. So you can only try it out. How, how do you feel on your videos and even if I, if the background is not shake if we shake we can see the background also moving there are many advantages such as robbery detection or somebody intrudes to your house this will take a picture can upload to the upload to your um, server or into your mobile so this is very helpful helpful uh, helpful thing so come let's learn this example in our coding so in this example we will be doing via html so let's uh, first learn how to add an uh, video tag in our html so basically we will just add a video tag with an uh, id id say id will be equal to uh, video with autoplay so we are giving a video option with an uh, autoplay option so next let's move on to the script part in the script part, basically we require nothing but the permission first to access, access the uh, to access the video. So we'll go to the navigator and get the media devices. So this is one of the media media devices. Get user media. Yes, this one only we want. Uh, so to this we have to pass some constraint. Actually, you can see here media constraint you have to pass, and the return value means the promise value would be a string. So let's uh, pass for some constraints. Let's. Uh, Constraints, constraints. So let's uh, add this uh, kind of variable constraints also. Variable constraints, constraints. This will be equal to this thing. Since this is a video, we have two options. That is audio. We'll make it as voice because we are doing only video processing. Then uh, and we have uh, video, video tag for this. So in this, you have to fill. Uh, uh, width and height that is the resolution of the image width, width will be equal to we can say 720 and height will be 480 so it will be a 480 720 cross 480 uh, this thing so now we have done the added this constraint so this area we saw that uh, it will be a promise return value of uh, stream so if we have a success case let's call a function success and if you have a so we have to error case then we should catch that error also we'll write an error function also so for this so let's uh, write the function uh, function uh, success so we'll write the Success. We have to. Uh, we will be getting a value stream as we saw in this get media. This thing it will uh, a promise value stream. So let's add that stream promise value stream. So let's fill up the function here. Now we have to fill it to our video ID uh, video. So let's create a variable video for this. Let's get it from our document. Document get ID by get element by ID. And our ID is also video which we defined in our body of our HTML. So then we'll fill up the video dot. We have to fill the source source object will be equal to this stream. So we are done. We are done with this. So let's uh, open this uh, for, for cam function which we have written. So there will be a few errors. We let's inspect them so that you can also learn what to call, what all the errors. So we have an unexpected syntax at line number four. So yes, we have to have a semicolon because it's a multiple entry. So let's.
so subject cannot be null okay cannot set the string so yes uh, yes we have to add one more braces here video tag we have to miss that thing so let's save it and uh, run it our cam so it will ask this permission if you give permission yes we have this cam so in the next videos i'll be adding the logic please subscribe uh, the, uh, our channel to get the latest updates on this uh, things so this is our uh, emr uh, uh, smart systems uh, first thing which i have done for uh, motion detection so you can see about this feature in our channel. I'll be sharing the link. You can try it by uh, try it by yourself. Thank you.